But it is the Arnold Palmer Invitational. We sit number one in the World Golf Rankings, which is where we've been for a while. We've won four straight tournaments, somehow pulling out that win in the wetlands. I don't, I couldn't tell you how. <clears throat> I have not a clue. That clutch shot on 18 to get it done. And uh, we're, st we're still rocking, but Lord knows uh, Bay Hill is going to be a test for us. Uh, yes. Here we are. The geese, we're going to try not to hit any geese today. We hit a goose, bad things are going to happen to us, and we might be missing the cut. So there we go. Oh, God, there's only like six, eight players maybe that have teed off thus far. We are teeing off real early here at Friday at Bay Hill. Par 4, 461 yards to get us started. Interesting drive. Kind of got to think about it, depending on what the wind is doing. Uh, you could very easily blow this through this fairway on this uh, 90 degree dog leg to the left, or at least I think it's about 90 degrees. We're actually, oh no, it's not. <laughs> what am I talking about? But it is a dog leg. And we are going to have to probably hit a high one and let the wind kind of knock this down a little bit as to not roll through the fairway. At least that's kind of my thought. Looks good off the tee early. And we're going to be just fine. It actually bounces on the fairway, so we'll get a little bit of a roll out here. 164 yards out. Pretty good tee shot to get us rolling here at Arnie's place. And now an 8-iron into the wind. I almost want to, distance-wise, aim it right at the hole. Hopefully it bounces just in front of it. Uh, it's tailing a bit left, but this could be pretty good. And in terms of your first approach shot of the day, not bad. My player's pumped up. He loves it. We have a chance here. It doesn't do a lot compared to what we'll surely see later in this round and as this week goes along. On the way, just going to miss high of the hole there. Can't take advantage of getting on in regulation here to start the Arnold Palmer Invitational. And by the way, I have, I have my own Arnold Palmer here today. Made one. Special for this. And now I'm dripping it on myself, so that's phenomenal. Par 3 second, 231 yards. Most of these par 3s here at Bay Hill, not going to be reachable with an iron. This is the only one that you can think about it, depending on what the wind's doing. Uh, but I don't think that's going to be a thing. We'd have to absolutely mash this, and even then, we're going to be a long ways away from the hole. So, really, I just want to give myself a, a decent uh, second shot. And I feel like we're going to be... Actually, this isn't going to be all that bad, and it might even trickle down onto the green almost. On the fringe, 23... Let's say yards or feet. Yards out. Well, we can go with the spinner. Now, I tried to hit a spinner yesterday, and it certainly rolled out a little bit. So used to the wetlands. Ah, could have been better. I feel like I probably should have flopped that, but... And now, I do believe this is the hole I bogeyed in practice yesterday. And this is not a very friendly putt, so we may be bogeying again. And that's not even close. We will drop a shot here on two. Can't, uh, can't do that too much here today.
Bar four third. Straightforward for us. Not too much to think about here. With my player's lack of power, I really can't even think about trying to cut this or, or do anything. We don't have the power drive. We can uh, get away with a low drive here, though. Work it uh, into this wind. Yeah, it's going to be off to the right a little ways. That's going to be all right, I think. We may... No, it's going to take a slight left turn. We're going to stay in the fairway. Well, and that was the problem yesterday. Not very straight off the tee. I'm going to try and take a little bit off this 9-iron into green here on the par 4. That's hooking to the left. I did this in practice yesterday. We got a good bounce. We're going to stay dry. <laughs> okay. Well, after that, should probably just be happy to make our par. But I am going to try and give this a go. On the way. It's going to miss low here. But we will make our par. Shouldn't have any issues with that. Well, we lucked out. Two times. I've played three here at Bay Hill two times in the last two days. I've done that both times. Good lord. On to the par five, fourth at 590 yards. This is a hole that I would like to take advantage of. Get that drop shot back. And there is that little smidge, little strip of water off right there that we are certainly going to want to avoid. All right. I'm all right with a high shot. Just hopefully hit the fairway somewhere. That'll be just fine. Second shot shouldn't be too challenging. Now, in practice yesterday, I pushed this right, and I... I can't remember if I found this bunker. I don't think I did. Uh, here today, we're going to be a little safer. Aim out this way. Ah, that's hooking well left. It'll be safe, but that's certainly not where I want it to be. Well, you take two weeks off from this game and you lose all any any sharpness you had, <laughs> apparently. And I'm so far... Well, that's actually not true. I thought I wasn't going to be able to hit the spinner we are. Now, is it the best idea? I don't know. We're going to give it a go here. It's got to check up. It does. Not bad. Inside 10 feet. We'll have a, have a chance at a birdie here, and it's a putt that doesn't do a lot. On the way, that'll fall. Back to even par through four. Kind of needed that. Real rough in the early stages. Another par four, 390 yards. This one, don't think we're going to be hitting driver off the tee here today. Probably going to be a three wood and then let it settle down as that fairway slopes or slants left to right here. We actually do have a bit of wind, but even then, I don't think I want to test it. So we'll just try and hit a three wood right in that spot over there. 
Well, straight a shot. We've hit off the tee in a while. The only unfortunate part is this may roll. I think we might have a look at the pin. I thought we were going to go a little bit farther to the right, and then we'd really be shut out. But no, we, uh, we can have a go here. Oh, well, we might be all right. I thought for a second that that ball was going to take off to the right on us. It had a little bit of side spin taking it over there. But it, uh, it stops for us, so that's good. On the way, and we're one under. <clears throat> Ari, I'm good. How are you? One under here in the Arnold Palmer Invitational. Good deal. Is two just going to be the hole that gets us all tournament long? Or am I ever going to learn how to fucking not bogey there? On the way with our Thursday here at Bay Hill. Where's the pin? Oh, front. E. Not sure about this one. We'll see how this goes. I'm going to take a little bit off the driver. Have to clear the water. Definitely don't want to miss left. And overall, it'll be pretty straight. And this shouldn't roll through the fairway. It won't. We'll be all right. Thinking about asking my crush to a hockey game tomorrow. Oh, man. <clears throat> That's a... Huh, I'm long removed from that. Did we ever go to a hockey game? I, th no, we never did. No. Sure. <laughs> we're kind of, I think we're. I think we're outside of hockey season now. I know. I, I thought the. I thought our high school team just. Oh yeah, they did. They just. They just lost in uh, regionals. Is what I thought. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm only one under. Yeah. It's it's been a rough go. Bay Hill is is just difficult. I'm gonna take a little bit off of this and kind of go out this way. Now, actually, there's a good bit of wind at our back. I can't believe I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna hit a six iron. Should be right where we wanna be. Yeah, our uh, our high school hockey team. Had a, had a great year last year, um, and really this year wasn't supposed to be much of anything, but they actually put a good team together and had some good results. <clears throat> there were not many uh, players on that team that weren't freshmen or sophomores. Maybe they lost seven yeah. Yep, and I, well, I, I, I only worked with one of them. <laughs> <clears throat> Third is just the second loser. I mean, honestly, this uh, this tournament I do feel is the end of our win streak. Because um, I can't get anything going on the front side. In practice yesterday and now today. And now I really don't know what I want to hit. I guess I'm going to try and hit a long spinner. That should be good. It'll be really good. Well, maybe we can get a little bit of something going. Easy tap in here on the par five. Sounds like you'll end uh, 12 under after four rounds for an end result of 23rd. Truth be told, I'd be happy with that. Another par three. The par threes here at Bay Hill, I think, are going to be the ones that are going to get us. Now, this pin location looks rather inviting here today. We can have a go at trying to run something up to it. I'm thinking, oh, man, I don't know about a six. Maybe a five that we bring back a little ways, but this actually requires me to hit something straight to be anywhere close. And we're off to the right a little ways. And we smashed it. So I think we're going to... Well, if we don't find our way into this bunker, we are. 
That's all right. I know how. <laughs> I know how broken keyboards go. My old Alienware keyboard was uh, a, a bit of a bear towards the end. Well, the only option here for us really is the pick shot. I might try and take a tiny bit off, but not a lot. Oh! Oh! Come on! Really nice out of the bunker. But it does not fall. Well, I had the right idea. With, par on, with a par on seven, we remain two under for the day. I'm also really curious to see what the AI scoring turns into um, here after round one. Now, we're seeing off very early, so the scoreboard that you see here uh, really isn't going to be very indicative of where we're going to be, I don't think, unless we somehow go really low here in this opening round. Um, we were like the seventh or eighth golfer to tee off here for round one, so a lot is going to change we can uh, have a rip here we are gonna come close to that tree and especially if I miss right like we've been doing this could get real bad nope that'll be fine it's hooking right though oh it's gonna clear it all right and a good kick for some extra rollout <clears throat> A two over third round. We haven't finished a round over par all year. Ooh, wow. Now this is a pin location. <laughs> I don't think we can get away. Now, do we, now, wait a minute. Didn't we try this yesterday? We had a very similar shot yesterday. And the wind pushed the pitching wedge more than I would have expected. But today, it's actually the 50 degree that we can have a go with. This is this is a terrible idea. This is a really bad idea. Oh, boy. Well, honestly, probably a good thing we missed a little bit right. Well, actually, pretty solid distance-wise. But not an easy putt here for birdie. That's probably a little bit too much powered off. I mean, good bit of downhill here. No snorkel, and uh, we didn't kill a goose, so that's good news. On the way, and there was a lot more break than I thought. And we didn't hit it all that hard, but <clears throat> I had kind of given up hope on that one there. So we'll take our par. There'll be better chances for us to go lower. We finished in practice two under on the front side and then got hot on the back, but no guarantee we do that. We could be in a real hole if we can't make some putts here today. Par four ninth. Last chance to improve on our front side. Maybe you should try the yellow ball so you get closer. <laughs> do I have a yellow ball? I don't know if I do. Sure I could get the uh, Callaway one from the store, but I like our I like our breakfast ball, the bacon and eggs tailor made. Let me just find off the tee, I think. Red ball would be a bullseye. I, do I have a red ball either? I don't know if there's a red ball in the game. Maybe like a Titleist Velocity. Um, Good bit of wind here. Can't get away with the 9 iron, so I guess we're going to hit an 8. And I might take the tiniest bit off of this. Fast through the ball, so we're off left. And this might not even stay on the green. <clears throat> I like whatever golf balls I uh, find in the woods. Working at a golf course has its perks. That would be one of them. Oh, this is a this is a putt. 
Now, I think primarily it's going to break that way. I don't think the break really right in front of us is going to do a whole lot. And I might actually want to take a tiny bit off. Because this ball's really going to take off with that down slope. Tiniest bit. On the way. And <laughs> we were close. But it just misses high. A good effort, but. My dad has found a lot of bowls, balls by looking around the holes. What? One of the funniest things I ever saw on a golf course was when I, uh, I found a ball that somebody just, like, left on the green, and, it, like, I wasn't even in an area where the ball would have come from another hole, but somebody, like, left the ball, like, two feet from the hole, and I'm like, unless somebody just completely got the wrong club, it, it shouldn't be possible to miss from another hole where I found that thing. Onto the backside here at Bay Hill. Be off a little to the left, but I think we're going to be okay. <laughs> you know, you could, you might be onto something. They they missed a one foot putt by two feet long, and then they were just like, "Fuck that ball." Nice ball, too. Um, now, this yesterday, I added a little bit more club than I needed and pounded it through the screen. On the way. Oh, wow. Woefully short today. Bring the sandals. Well, we're not sandy. See, what we need is a sip of an Arnold Palmer. That's what we need to get going, right? It's what we need. We're at least going to have a go at this, I think. There it goes. Well, we had a go. Just missing high of the hole again and just not being able to make putts right now. Killing our chances at a good day. You did get the three feet right. Why are Evo's predictions usually just spot on no matter what we're doing? Every now and then there's one that's like woefully bad, but then like most of them are usually really good. Which is why I'm a little bit worried about the 12 under 23rd place. Oh, that's a front pin. Holy shit. I mean, maybe. Make three breaking putts. We were 0 for 3 in the daily challenges. Drowning or digging? Off the tee, we've been mostly okay today. Oh, we're going to be close here. We are just going to get away with that. Oh, boy. Real good that that ball stopped spinning midair. It looked like it was heading into the water. And now 54 degree. Should be in no danger of being short. No, oh, that'll be really good. Oh, the spin. That's the first time I've had a ball spin like that in over a round and a half here at Bay Hill so far. The good news is the putt doesn't do much. There we go. 
Right off the fringe, the edge of the fringe for birdie and three under. It's kind of middle of the back nine that we really got going yesterday. Four birdies in a row at one point. And I do believe it started here at 12. Got a back pin with plenty of wiggle room. And I'm going to take a little bit off of this drive. <clears throat> also going to hit it high. Oh, good Lord. <clears throat> Where are we going? Somehow still the fairway. That got real bad real fast, but we're going to get away with it. Can I even hit a three-wood here? Or is it going to hit the... Is it going to hit the mound? I don't think so. Oh, God, this is dicey. Nope, it's good. I don't know where it's going to go. Into a bunker, most likely. Oh, no. Good kick. We stay out of the sand. This hole has been a bit of a mess, but yet somehow should have no issue getting on the green in regulation. Um, so, spinner right there. This is, this is going to go nowhere near, I think, where I want it to go. Oh, boy. Spinners are so hard to control. Even though we got the gold one now, they still... We spray them everywhere. But, makeable here. 11 feet out. A tiny little mound to get over off the start. And on the way, breaking in. Back-to-back -back birdies, we're doing it again. 11 and 12 for four under. And now, once again, don't pay much attention to that scoreboard. A lot's going to change. But if we can find a way to go seven under like we did in our practice round, things are going to be looking pretty good for us. Above expectations by a stroke? Well, we could also we could have a, a, a bad round somewhere else along the way. This drive yesterday, I got a little bit um, overzealous. Hit driver off the tee. That was a mistake. So we're hitting three wood today, and we might be sandy. Good kick. Good kick. We're in the fairway. We are getting away with so much here today. Good Lord. Ooh, a finesse shot. I can hit a finesse. There's some wind at our back. want to be careful there. Ooh, this could be good. This could be good. Oh, of all the balls that don't spin backwards, that would have been the one I wanted. I thought we, I thought we could have gotten there. No spin on the finesse at all. A little bit off on the power. Ball's not going to do much until the very end. And it's in. It rattles home. So much like practice yesterday. Three straight birdies for five under par. Tied for the lead at the moment. <laughs> we didn't limp out for once. Now, I limped out in practice on a shot from the bunker yesterday. 
and it was so beautiful. It was a it was a pick shot that just stopped, rolled out a little bit, and I was just like, how does this have the speed to lip out? I didn't understand. Well, this is gonna be dicey, I think. On the way, we gave that a lot of power. We're probably gonna be sandy here. These longer par threes, they just... You either hit a five wood and blast it over or hit a long iron and they don't... Uh, they don't stop. All right, well, pick shot time. Oh. Oh! Bow dunked it. That was a very, very nice shot. And then the, the kick really got it away there a little bit. Aim right for that right edge. And we're in. Well, our run of three straight birdies does not get to four. But overall, got to be happy with that little run we had. Finding a finding a bunker is actually never really a bad thing for me. We've been really great out of bunkers all year. Dog leg right. We're getting towards the end of our Thursday at Bay Hill. Um I don't think that amount of wind is enough to blast this over the bunker. I don't know if it's really worth trying, but we're going to do it anyway. Oh, good God. Watch out. We're actually going to clear the bunker. Hey, wasn't I here yesterday? I'm fairly certain I landed on top of the mound yesterday. Today, we skipped down a little bit. That does mean that we're hitting a punch. Which is a bit unfortunate. Let's see if we can't run it up there. Now, the worst thing we could possibly do is hit the tree. <laughs> On the way. Well, it does hit the tree. It's not the part I was worried about. It's going to be a pretty good punch shot right in front of the green. Now. I was only worried about hitting the trunk of the tree. I didn't care if it hit branches. That wasn't going to do much. We are just not putting ourselves in situations for flop shots today. On the way with the spinner. And another really good one. In tight. Well, we'll make par. Just uh, remind me not to do that when we're back here tomorrow. <laughs> Don't try and cut that bunker. It doesn't work. I actually don't think I tried to cut the bunker yesterday. I think I just missed woefully right. Don't remember. <laughs> I mean, depending on the conditions, eventually we'll get there. Something about law of averages or something. Alright. How many holes left to play here on Thursday? Three to play. We are at five under. Co-leader. In the very early stages of the Arnold Palmer Invitational... This is looking left, but the fairway is pretty wide. We'll be all right. Shouldn't have any issue clearing the water now. With how far we are away, I actually don't know if that's what we want to do. I'm going to hit a six iron. Bring it back. Now, this is dangerous a little bit because if we miss this left, 
could be swimming, so I'm gonna add a little bit more power to it. Well, we actually missed right. But, we'll find the green a long way from home. 82 foot putt incoming. Eagle putt from 80, now 83 feet. I can't even tell what this does. We will add some power to it, because it does have to make its way uphill. We're also going to have to absolutely whack this. Heavy break in the middle that continues pretty much all the way to the hole. Well, we'll give it a whack. On the way. In terms of a lag putt, that's pretty darn good. From 83 feet out to just outside 5 feet. And an easy birdie putt here. To drop to 6 under. Might just be in solo lead now. Oh, I don't think we have to try to make it a three-putt. We could very easily three-putt anywhere on this course. These greens will get you. Final par three of the day. 17th, 218 yards, five iron into the wind. Well... <clears throat> Wind's going to have to knock this down a little bit, but it's pretty darn good. Skim it across the water like a skip, uh, like a skipping stone. You see, I unintentionally got very good at that in real golf last year. On the way, she's in, seven under. Five birdies on the back nine here today. With one to play. I would just thin the shit out of a three wood. And uh, skip it over the water sometimes. On to 18, front pin. On this par four finishing hole here at Bay Hill. Hit a low drive and this down slope hopefully gonna make for some good rollout if I can hit a fucking straight shot for once. Uh, relatively. Oh yeah, there's the kick. Now in a perfect world, we're a little bit farther to the left, but we'll take it. And now a 9-iron, potentially. Yeah, I think it's going to be the 9. Completely level. Oh, that might be hooking a bit right. And we blasted it. So not an easy putt upcoming. I don't really know what to do here. There's a lot of uphill that's really sneaky, but I don't think we really have to worry about it too much. I don't think it's going to do a lot to it. We'll go uh we'll go here. On the way, she's breaking in that direction, and it stops on the edge. That's such a beautiful putt, and our day is going to end here with a par on 18. My goodness.
but it's seven under on Thursday at Bay Hill. What does the rest of the leaderboard do? We are tied for the lead after day one. We'll take it. We will certainly take it. I thought some people were going to certainly go lower than seven under here today, but Bay Hill testing everybody as we are in a three-way tie for first. Who is uh, who's in real danger here after Thursday? Oh, Joel Damon. Oh, my. Eight over? Dude shot an 80. He might as well just withdraw. <laughs> Holy shit. Joel Damon at two over. Lee Hodges, two over. Bunch of guys at two over. Jordan Spieth, one over par. His struggles just continue now. We've seen from Austin's channel that you can miss the cut and still play. <laughs> still play the weekend. Simply because you're all, you're the uh, AI golfer. I don't know. The only AI golfer that has a player modeled in. Highest finishing modeled in golfer that uh, actually missed the cut and shouldn't even be here. Jason Day at one over par. And then the guys down here at even. But a very good start to the Arnold Palmer Invitational. Last big test before the players. 